Hi, I'm Jared. Welcome to Fun Science Demos. We have something for you to think about to start things off. I'm going to take a glass bottle, a small piece of paper that's just balled up. I'm going to put the piece of paper right into the front of the bottle. I'm going to try and blow that paper into the bottle. Doesn't seem too difficult. What do you think is going to happen? Let's see. <coughs> Wait a second. So what happened there? Why didn't the paper go into the bottle? Why would it come out of the bottle? Well, maybe I didn't blow hard enough. Let's try it again and I'm going to blow a little harder. Let's see what happens. So what's happening? Well, science is happening. There must be something inside the bottle that's pushing the paper out. But I don't see anything, do you? Well, that's the big idea today. That something inside the bottle that pushes back is air. And air pushes things all over the place. <clears throat> something as simple as that piece of paper or something a little bit bigger, like an egg. Now before we look at the egg, let's take a closer look at the air. Through science we've discovered that air is matter and matter takes up space. Well, how can I see that if I can't see air? Well, look at this bottle, a plastic bottle with a cap on, but what's inside the bottle? Air. If air is inside and it takes up space, then it's going to keep me from crushing the bottle. So here we go. I'm pushing hard with my fingers, but I can't make them touch. Why? Well the air inside is taking up space. What happens if I take the cap off of the bottle? Well, why could I put my fingers together? Because the air rushed out the front of the bottle. I just couldn't see it. Air pushes against things. So let's get back to the eggs. I have two empty glass bottles with an egg on top. And these eggs are going to show us the powerful ways that air can push. Now through science we've discovered that there's miles of air above us and that air is pushing down in all directions. So why isn't the egg, if air is pushing on this egg, why isn't it going into the bottle? Well that's because there's air inside the bottle pushing back. So what would happen if I can take away the air inside the bottle? Well, that's an interesting question that we can see what happens using science. So how do we get the air out of the bottle? Well that's where science comes in. We're going to use this piece of paper we're going to light this piece of paper on fire. We're going to drop the piece of paper in the bottle and put the egg on top. As that paper burns, it heats the air. And then we're going to zoom in so you can take a closer look at the egg. You'll see the air rushing past the egg. The egg will actually vibrate. It's vibrating because the hot air is rushing past the egg. All the air, most of the air, is leaving the bottle. That means all the air up top, above it, in, in this room, miles up above, it should push the egg into the bottle. Let's take a closer look and see if that's what happens. Let's watch this happen. Let's take the egg down, light the match, light the paper, let it burn a little bit, drop the egg on, it's bouncing. Pressure of the air pushes the egg into the bottle. Let's take a closer look at what happened. Oh, my egg got totally ripped apart. That air pressure pushing down against this bottle ripped the egg apart. Now I could probably dump these pieces out and clean it up, but what would happen if that egg didn't get ripped apart? When the air pushed the egg in, what if the egg remained whole? How do I get the egg out of the bottle? Well, we're going to try and demonstrate that. Let's try it again with a smaller bottle and see what happens. But remember, if you're going to try this at home, you need a good pair of safety glasses or sunglasses to make sure you're safe. So here we go. Let's try it with a smaller glass bottle. It's important to use glass because plastic could melt. So like the match, get my paper burning, drop it in. The egg went right into the bottle and it's in there, the whole thing. So how do I get it out? Well, I use science. So how do I get the egg out? Well, when I turn the bottle upside down, you can see the egg gets trapped. There is some air inside, so I need to actually put more air into that bottle so that air can push the egg out. How do I get more air into the bottle? Well, I'm going to use my mouth to try and blow air into the bottle. I should be able to blow strong enough that the air rushes past the egg and then pushes the egg out. Let's see if I can blow hard enough to force enough air behind the egg so that air can push the egg out. Hopefully all the way out of the bottle. It may not get there. Let's see how hard I can blow this thing. Oh, 
it's almost there almost there and I can just listen to the sound I can get it out it's amazing to think that air is strong enough to push that egg into the bottle but remember air isn't just pushing down it's pushing from all directions so we can take a closer look at that to do that we're gonna put the bottle upside down and we're gonna see if the air can push the egg up into the bottle well that's how do we do that well we need to put a candle or two into the egg let's light that up and see what happens get my candles lit turn it upside down now that air is being heated oh, what happened the air actually pushed the egg into the bottle even though it was upside down air is pushing from all directions down up sideways air has the power to push things all around so what is so important about air pressure well through science we've discovered that air pressure has a lot to do with our weather when there's high air pressure the weather's nice it's good when there's low air pressure the weather's stormy not so good science is so cool if you want to learn more about air pressure and weather check out our links in other videos thanks for watching